Hey guys, in this quick video I'm going to demonstrate a couple of cool ways you can stylize your G3 characters by using Photoshop effects. What we're going to do in the first demo is create an effect inspired by the pointillism style pioneered by French artist Georges Charat. You can see an example of this in one of his famous paintings, Sunday Afternoon on the Island of Le Grand Jat. In the next example, we'll use a couple of simple effects to create a sort of animated paper cutout style like you see here. Okay, to get a Surat style look in Photoshop, what you want to do first is select your layer, in this case the face layer, and then go up to Filter, and then Add Noise. You can adjust the parameters here to get a nice effect like this. To transfer this effect to all the other layers on the character, all you need to do is use the V hotkey to select the Move tool, and make sure you have Auto Select and Layer selected in the top left of your screen. From there, just click on whatever layer you want to have that effect, and then press Ctrl F to repeat the last command in Photoshop. In this case, it's the Add Noise command. Once you've done this, it's time to do a little shading to give the character the appearance of more depth. Go over to the toolbar on the left and select the Burn tool, which will essentially darken or burn the areas you paint over. It's a super useful way to do simple shading on colored surfaces. What I'm doing here is just adding shadows to areas that would normally have them on a 3D figure, such as under the front part of the hair, around the edges of the face, under the neck, and even the inner parts of the ears. Once I've done that, I'll use the Dodge tool, which is the opposite of the Burn tool in that it lightens up certain areas. I'll use this to lighten certain areas that would reflect more light to further enhance the 3D feeling. As a finishing touch, we can use the Pattern Overlay effect to give a bit more random stylization to the layers as well. Make sure that you use the Overlay setting and reduce the opacity to about half to avoid overpowering the base effects and colors. You can right-click on the current layer to copy its style, and then select all the other layers by using the selection box, then right-click in the layer window and paste all of them. This will be the final look of your character, like an animated work of art. If you want to see what other effects will look like, you can select all your layers, then go up to Filter and into the Filter Gallery. Here you can easily preview all the cool-looking effects that Photoshop has to offer. It's certainly a lot more than we currently have with CTA 3, so the ability to utilize these is a huge benefit. Okay, next up let's try out the paper cutout style. To do this, we can apply the pattern filter to any layer on our character. In this case, it's the left arm layer. I recommend using a fairly tight pattern so it doesn't look too bulky. You can toggle through the blend modes once you've selected one by using the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard. In this case, I'm choosing soft light with 100% opacity. You can't really see it on the white section of our character shirt at the moment, but you can see it on the blue rolled up sleeve. Again, from here, I'll just copy and paste the layer style like I did in the last example. You can see that we now have a sort of really rough construction paper type of look, but let's try to refine this a little bit. In the pattern overlay parameters, I'm going to bring down the scale of the pattern a bit, in addition to the opacity. This should give us a smoother appearance while still maintaining the look of construction paper. Now it looks pretty good, so let's move on to the next step, which is adding a drop shadow. You can actually change the angle of the drop shadow by clicking and dragging on the layer like you see here. We'll also tone down the opacity a bit to make it appear a bit more subtle. Now when we copy and paste this layer style to all the others, you can see the neat looking cutout effect we've achieved. From here, I'll use that same color burn and dodge technique you saw in the previous example to perform some shading for our character. I'll fast forward this a bit so you can see the process a little quicker. When you're done, you can throw in some animations, render it with a stylized background, and get a cool looking paper cutout storybook type of style like you see here. Thanks for watching everyone, hopefully you learned a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.